Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another exciting video and in today's video, we are going to look how you guys can solve any journal entry during your interview. No matter how hard, how tough or how tricky it is. I will be sharing one practical example and in this example, we will be covering 4 or 5 major concepts which you should master before going for your next interview. So if this interests you, make sure you sit back and relax and watch this video till the very end. You are watching Corporate Wala, helping you get your dream job. Okay, so the example which I am going to share with you, at least 90% of you won't be able to answer it correctly or maybe you will be able to answer it but you might forget some part of it. That is, you will answer it partially. So let's see, are you in the 10% will be able to answer this correctly. So make sure when I'll be sharing this journal entry example with you, you should attempt your answer in comment before I will tell you the correct answer. Only then you will be able to check what is your current level of preparation and then you can analyze what are the things on which you need to work on so that when you will go for your actual interview, you will be able to perform better. Okay, enough of talking now. Let's see our example. So example is Corporate Wala Limited appointed Nokri Wala Limited consultant to deliver consultancy services for the quarter 2. Nokri Wala delivered the services for April but raised the invoice in May for all the periods. Corporate Wala wanted to hire Nokri Wala for 7 lakh rupees but after negotiation both parties agreed for a total contract fees of 9 lakh rupees. Corporate Wala paid Nokri Wala full amount on receiving the invoice. So this is our question which we will be covering in detail and we need to pass the journal entries here. So tell me at first glance what do you think? Would you be able to answer it easily or it is a tricky question? Do write that down in comments. Okay, now let's talk about the trick how we are going to solve this question or any such tricky question during our interview. So first of all what you need to do is understand the requirement of the questions. So in the given question, if we break it down, what are the key points which we have in this question? So first point would be Corporate Wala Limited hire Nokri Wala Limited as a consultant to provide consultancy services from April to June. Now how do I get to know the month would be April to June? Because in India, we follow the financial year for accounting but generally in US or UK, you will see they follow calendar year for their accounting period. So their first quarter would be January, Feb, March. The second quarter would be April, May, June. That's why I have mentioned April to June. Okay. Now, what was the second thing which we can break it down from the question? Nokri Wala Limited provided the consultancy service for the month of April, but no invoice was raised in April. When was the invoice raised? The invoice was raised for all three months in May period. Okay, so this is very important to note. We have received the services in April but not received any invoice and in May we have received the invoice for all the three periods. Then Corporate Wala Limited wanted to pay 7 lakh rupees but at the end they agreed to pay 9 lakh rupees which was paid with invoice in May period. Okay, so these were the key points which we can take from our question. Okay, now let's talk about the key concept involved in this journal entry. Are you able to identify them by yourself? If you did, make sure you write them in comments so I can also get to know how well you understood the question and its requirements. Okay, the first concept which is involved in this journal entry is accrual concept. So, I'm sure you must be aware what is accrual, due, but not paid things are known as accruals. Okay, then the second concept involved in this journal entry is deference. So what is deference? Prepaid or prepayments. That means we have paid for something but we have not availed the benefit of that yet. The third concept which we will be covering in this journal entry is payment of expense. Like how do we book expense entry? And the last concept which we are covering is reversal of accrual journals. So all these four concepts are covered in this one journal. So make sure you are watching this video with your full attention and not losing any of the points. Okay, now moving ahead. So first of all, we will calculate the monthly fees. So how do we do that? So what was the total contract amount 
सेवन लैख और नाइन लैख आई गिव यू टू सेकेंड्स टू थिंक अबाउट इट ओके सो इफ योर आंसर इज सेवन लैख देन इट इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज एक्चुअल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट अमाउंट वॉज नाइन लैख रुपीज ओके सो दिस नाइन लैख रुपीज वॉज फॉर थ्री मंथ सो इफ आई वॉन्ट टू आइडेंटिफाई वट वॉज द कॉस्ट ऑफ वन मंथ हाउ कैन आई आइडेंटिफाई दैट बाय डिवाइडिंग दिस अमाउंट बाय थ्री सो आई एल गेट दैट थ्री लैख रुपीज पर मंथ इज माई कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फीस ओके देन मूविंग अहेड नाउ सम ऑफ यू वुड बी थिंकिंग वट विल हैपन टू द सेवन लैख रुपीज आई डोंट नो यू टेल मी आई एल टेल यू नथिंग इट इज जस्ट गिवन टू कन्फ्यूज यू देर इज नो यूज ऑफ सेवन लैख रुपीज I wanted to pay seven lakh rupees, but at the end we agreed that I'll pay you nine lakh rupees. So there is no use of seven lakh rupees. So you can simply ignore it. It was just there to confuse you. Okay, moving ahead. Now let's talk about what will be our journal entry in the month of April. So in the month of April, what entry we will pass? So if you want to attempt this entry by yourself, make sure you pause this video and. answer in comments and then i'll tell you the answer and you can verify that you have posted the correct journal entry or not okay so in the month of april we will be posting consultancy services expense account debit by 3 lakh rupees to accrued expenses account why accrued expenses why not nokri wala limited because we have not received any invoice from them yet so we can't credit their account or create a creditor based on their name that's why we have used a generic account which is our accrued expenses account which will be our current liability okay then moving ahead if you have used outstanding expenses or expense payable instead of accrued expenses that is fine your journal entry is still correct as long as you are debiting one expense and crediting one current liability okay moving ahead now let's talk about the may period how we will be going to pass journal entries in may and if you are losing your focus make sure you come back again because may is the month which is going to be a very tricky month for us here we will be passing so many important journal entries so make sure your full attention is here okay so what will be our first journal entry for the month of may we received the invoice for all the three months so what we are going to do is we'll book the journal entry for this so what will be my journal entry CS expense account debit nine lakh rupees, which is my total contract value, to accrued expense account nine lakh rupees, right? Wrong. We won't be using accrued expense here now. Why? Because now we have received the invoice from Nokri Wala, so we will be creating a creditor by name of Nokri Wala, not the generic account of accrued expense. So what will be my journal entry here? CS expense account debit nine lakh rupees. to nokri wala limited account 9 lakh rupees okay then moving ahead my second entry would be reversal of the accrual which we have booked in the previous month which is our april month so what was the entry we booked in april month we booked cs expense account debit to accrued expense but now if we want to reverse it we have to just switch the sign and book that again so what will be my reversal entry of previous accrual accrued expense account debit to cs expense account this will be my reversal of previous accrual which i have booked okay moving ahead what will be my third entry in the month of may so we have received the invoice in may for all the three periods so in the april month we had booked the accrual so we have reversed it for the may we have got the entry here and because we have paid the amount along with the invoice so for one month our amount is going to be prepaid as well so what will be my entry of prepaid here we'll book the journal entry prepaid expense account debit to cs expense account okay i am not crediting bank here and i'll tell you in some time why okay so if you will see we have posted these three entries in may till now but this is not it we are going to post few more entries in this but before that let me tell you what will be the net impact of these entries in may we have posted these three entries and if you check the net impact of them so it will show you that on the pnl we are only booking net amount of 3 lakh rupees which should be the case how we booked the total 9 lakh rupees of invoice 3 lakh rupees was reversed as a previous accrual and 3 lakh rupees was reversed as a prepaid expense okay now 
मूविंग अहेड वी विल पोस्ट वन मोर जर्नल एंट्री इन मे पीरियड विच इज द पेमेंट ऑफ इन वॉइस सो वट विल बी माई एंट्री नौकरी वाला लिमिटेड अकाउंट डेबिट नाइन लैख रुपीज टू बैंक अकाउंट ओके सो दिस वॉज द लास्ट जर्नल एंट्री विच वी नीड टू पोस्ट इन द मंथ ऑफ मे आई होप वट एवर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन टिल नाउ एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर टू यू इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट और एनी क्वेश्चन फील फ्री टू आस्क मी इन द कॉमेंट्स मूविंग अहेड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द जून मंथ वट विल बी आर जर्नल एंट्रीज विच वी आर गोइंग टू पोस्ट इन आर जून मंथ ओके सो वट विल बी माई जर्नल एंट्री वी हैव ऑलरेडी पेड द अमाउंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिसीव द अमाउंट वी हैव क्रिएटेड द प्री पेड एक्सपेंस सो नाउ इट इज टाइम दैट वी रिवर्स दैट प्री पेड एक्सपेंस सो वट विल बी माई जर्नल एंट्री टू रिवर्स दैट प्री पेड एक्सपेंस सी एस एक्सपेंस अकाउंट डेबिट टू प्री पेड एक्सपेंस अकाउंट एंड विद दिस आर जर्नल एंट्रीज विल बी कंप्लीटेड आई होप यू गॉट एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो एंड बाई फॉलोइंग द टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स विच आई हैव शेयर इन दिस वीडियो you will be able to solve any journal entry in future as well watch these videos next and prepare for your interview if you have any questions or any doubt any suggestions feel free to let me know in the comments if you got any value hit like and subscribe to my channel if already haven't i will see you soon with another exciting video till then take care and bye bye